Hey y'all, it's Leah Boom with Monarch Ministries here. Um, welcome to the channel. I was trying to do this word earlier today and I have been under the weather and um, I couldn't get it done, but the Lord keeps nudging me on it. So um, I got this vision the other day of a unicorn when I was praying in tongues and this unicorn was like covered in jewels or it was made out of gems or something. It was just very angelic, like something just glorious. And unicorns were Like something from my childhood that really means a lot to me. When I was a kid, there was this movie called The Last Unicorn. And I remember sitting on my grandpa's floor in his living room watching this on his old TV. that One of those big wooden ones with the speakers on the side. And um, crying. Like I bawled real tears because... I felt this fire inside of me that just knew that this was real somehow. Like this unicorn was real. And it wasn't until a few years ago that I really discovered that unicorns are real and they're in the Bible. They're um, mentioned nine times in the Bible. The original scriptures called them Rayem. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's R E apostrophe E M and it means a long horned creature or long horned animal. And, um, in the King James version, they translated it to unicorn and Psalms twenty two twenty one says, and thou shalt exalt me, exalt my horn, like the horn of a unicorn. I will be anointed with fresh oil. And I just wanted to talk about how, you know, this stuff has been covered up. And the fact that a lot of people just don't know the truth behind everything because it has been so covered up. There's been so much deception and God led me through this place in my awakening where he was giving me all of this really hidden knowledge. And one of the things he showed me is, is about mythical creatures and how they were are real and they're not a myth. They really were here on the earth at one point. And, um, when the flood came, you know, it killed everything and Noah and his family and the creatures that he put on the boat were the only things that lived. But it's just one example of how deep the deception goes. Um, I just wanted to put this out there to um, wake y'all up to the fact that there are a lot of things that um, he may be opening your eyes to that are hard to believe, but if you're brave enough and if you love Jesus enough to trust him and just let him show you what the truth is, he will show you remarkable secrets that you do not know. Jeremiah 33, 3. If you're willing and able, if you're willing and obedient, if you're willing he will show you remarkable things that you do not know.